So we're going to be doing an easy acapella zills combination. So we're not going to be using any music. We'll be making our own music with our zills. But don't be too put off by this because if you can play a basic melody rhythm, then I think that you're going to be okay with this. We'll be sticking to a basic melody rhythm plus some accents and some pretty simple steps. So this is a really great way to try out something like this for the first time. Do you like my lovely tour shirt? This one was designed by Adrienne in Los Angeles who does lots of graphic design as well as being a belly dancer. You can see all my tour dates from 2016 on the back. So I do have a tour coming up for this year. Last year I was a little busy running the studio and getting everything started here, but I'm so excited to be back on the road this May. And I will be in New York City at Belly Dance America on Sunday the 20th with two workshops hosted by Tandava. I will also be at the Drum and Dance Learning Center on Wednesday, May 23rd uh, in Northern New Jersey. There are a few other dates coming up also, so stay tuned for those. All right, so let's go ahead and get your zills out and we're going to get to work on this acapella combination. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use basic belly. So, so basic melody is what we're going to be playing and then we're going to have some accents in between. We're going to alternate between the melody and the accents. So let's take our first step. So our first step is going to go and hip roll over to the front and step back. I call this a dictation, that's what I learned it by, but you may call it something else. So over and back, over and back, over and back. Let's go to the other side over and back, over and back, over and back. So when we put this with the melody, we have other side. Okay, but we're only going to use one because we need some accents. So now we're going to add what we do with our hands. Pretty easy. Okay, let's talk about this. Just right, left, right, left. And we're going to take four nice little clean isolations. We're going to lift the chest up, down. We're going to take the pelvis, tuck, and drop. One, two, three, four. Just like that. So let's go to the right. Ready? And go. There, okay. We're going to go to the other side. We're going to add one extra beat. And you can also make these a little clap. Close if you like. So here we have one, two, one, two, three. One, two, same as that before. Tuck, drop, drop. So you're going to make a double drop at the bottom. So we have up, down, up, down, down. Okay, we're going to go to the other side. Okay, let's put the first two parts together. Ready? I'm going to give you a little four tick here to kind of get our meter going. All right, we got the first part. Now we're going to go backwards. We're going to take a basic Egyptian. There's your plain melody. And then we're going to take two nice vertical circles with a single hip. And we're going to go up and over, up and over. And we're going to go. We're going to roll the sound just like we roll our hip. So we're going to go backwards. And we're going to be on our right. So we have. All right, let's go from the top over to the right. Go back. All right, how are we doing so far? Okay, so we finished with this hip roll right here. And we're going to go forward again, one 
playing melody. We're going to have doom, doom, tech, tech, doom, tech, tech. Okay? So let's just do that first. So here, we're going to step on the right. Doom, doom, tech, tech, doom, tech, tech. Now we're going to bring our arms in as we step out. So now we have doom, doom, tech, tech, doom, tech, tech. Right here. So for the last accented section, we're going to have a run with our fingers, so we're going to have and an end with a clap. So one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. Okay? So we're going to have be from here. So we have one and a two and a three and a four. So of course, this down here, we've got a little shoulder shimmy going on. So try it again. One and a two and a three and a four. Now you can clap here, you can clap up here, you can bring them out to the side if you like, if you like that better. Alright, so let's try this last section after this roll. We're going to be stepping forward with basic Egyptian. Okay, now let's try the whole thing together. Okay, so we're going to do this twice. We're going to do it once a little more slowly, and then once when we're going to do it a little bit faster. Ready? some basic movement skills, do this really slowly and just try it out and have some fun with it. It is okay to not be perfect in your own home when you are practicing. It's good to push yourself a little bit. So when you do that, you give yourself a chance to experiment with something new and to try something with your zills. You know, give yourself that safe space to do that because once you get the hang of it and once you kind of get bit by the bug that you can actually do it. Zills are just so much fun. They are uh, have just a lot of talk in the belly dance community about Zills being a dying art in belly dance. Um, I tried my best to make sure that my students are definitely getting experience with them. Uh, I love them so much and I'm so glad that I got pushed to learn them. So um, I would encourage you to do the same. I found a lot of joy in them in my dancing. A little frustration at first, but much, much, much more joy on the other end after learning them. So uh, that is all I have for you guys today. So like I said, stay tuned for more tour dates coming up May 20th at Belly Dance America and May 23rd at Drum and Dance Learning Center in New Jersey. So uh, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.